Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are officially starting on this little apartment makeover. It's actually a studio and I'll have to get the actual square footage, but I know it's like eight feet across, just like eight feet, two inches wide. It is not a huge apartment. This was actually my very first apartment that I ever stayed in when I moved out of my parents' house. We are going to completely renovate this space. It's going to be several day long process, but we're actually going to start with the kitchen. Kitchen. So we just have, you know, kind of like these old builder grade oak cabinets and we are going to start by painting with Beyond Paint. I have painted so many different things <laughs> over the last several years with Beyond Paint. Bathroom vanities, another kitchen actually up here in Montana, furniture, like so many different projects. It's going to completely transform the space and this is the first thing that we're going to be doing today. My brother is also going to be coming in and he is going to be working on tiling the bathtub right here. It's kind of an awkward space because this is like an old house so it's like a weird roof line and so it has only a tub like no shower or no stand-up shower I guess but it's going to end up being a really cute little place just like we transformed the last apartment here in Montana into the cutest little apartment so I have a lot of faith on this one too but we have a ton of work ahead of us let's get into it I wanna So the bathroom used to have a corner sink, which was very space saving, but also kind of awkward. And so previously, before I got up here, my brother actually took that sink out, replaced it with a more standard sink. And then with that, he also removed the corner mirror. And so because of that, we're going to kind of need to patch up a few things and kind of paint those areas. And then also in the bedroom, there was actually a shelf right above the windows, just a kind of like a four inch shelf, something that you can maybe set some books on or something. But we are going to make the ceilings feel taller. And so we're going to bring the curtains all the way to the ceiling later on. And so for that reason, we had to take down that shelf. And so again, we're just going to have to touch up a few spots with paint. And so while I'm painting the kitchen cabinet, my mom is actually going to kind of be around the apartment just painting and doing those little touch-up projects. First things first, before any paint can go on the cabinets, I need to start by cleaning them off. So I'm just going to be using my e-cloths and wiping them clean. before we get into the official makeover I wanted to share just a few pictures of how the apartment looked to start so my mom and brother before I arrived here to Montana actually painted the walls Sherwin Williams alabaster it's a pretty off-white color and it just really brightened the space because previously it was kind of like that darker tan color and my brother also changed both of the sink faucets and removed the super old and failing tile from the bathtub among the other things that I previously mentioned so I just wanted to share that so you can see the full scope of kind of what was done here. Now we're gonna open up our Beyond Paint. This paint can is actually the same one that I used in the other apartment. My mom and brother used it downstairs in that kitchen, which if you haven't seen that video, I shared it last week. I'll link it up here for you guys. Anyway, Beyond Paint is amazing you do not have to strip your cabinets you don't have to sand things down it's just like clean them up obviously and then you just paint it on and it's incredible it cures fully in 30 days but it is really pretty good right away and you can always touch it up we have used it all over the place love this stuff so much this is the bright white now the big things that i want to share about it is one it is going to be incredibly thick. Like you'll open it up and be like, wow, that's some really thick paint. But that means it's gonna go on super nicely and it's going to give really, really good coverage. So you're only gonna need two, maybe three coats. I typically will give three coats just because I want that extra layer of protection. Now, when you're actually applying the paint, you want to roll as much as possible and you're never gonna wanna brush it on. You're going to instead like in the corners and crevices, you want to just stipple. So you just wanna push it in like that with your paintbrush and then roll everything else that you can. That's pretty much it. It's very easy. It comes in different set colors. So you can order it online. I will have a link down below so you can check it out. But 
My favorite color is the pebble color, but I also have used bright white. I've used the black, like they just have tons to choose from. So whatever your style is, they'll probably have you covered. Let's go ahead and turn this kitchen around. the first coat on the cabinets. We're not painting the inside or anything, but the first coat does not look great. But that second coat is just like magic. It goes on like butter. It's incredible. And it will give you really, really great coverage. And then like I said, you might be okay with that or you might want to do a third coat, but it's really cool to see like that second coat go on just so perfectly. Now before painting the cabinet doors, my older brother drilled the holes so that we could later on add some hardware poles. For under $150, you can completely transform your kitchen or bathroom just by painting the cabinets and adding or changing out the cabinet poles. And trust me, Beyond Paint goes so far, so you will get so many different projects out of one can of paint. day two officially of this apartment makeover. It was such a late long night to paint all of the cabinets and we had to run some errands and do all the things, but we are back today. I'm gonna go ahead and put these cabinet fronts back on and put the new hardware that we got on them. And then also because there isn't like a full on entry and there also isn't like an official closet in here, I kind of wanted to do both with one step. So I got a little entryway coat hook slash rod that can be used as a closet and that will kind of create more of an entryway area and kind of create some separation between like the actual living space and the bedroom itself. And then below that we also have a shoe storage area. So again, it'll help kind of create that separation, but also, <laughs> <laughs> but also, you know, obviously give some functionality with shoe storage. All right, the kitchen is all done at least painted. We do need to grab some more handles. They are sitting on the table at my mom's house. We just forgot to bring them over, so I'll do that tomorrow. Now the remainder of the day we actually worked on tiling the tub surround and we decided not to go traditional with the tile and instead we kept the large tiles vertical and that just really helped to keep the grout lines minimal in this really small space and kind of keep your eye going up. Your eyes, not even 
Absolutely love working in really small kind of awkward spaces and with a low budget because I feel like you have to force yourself to get really creative and that's exactly what we did throughout this entire space. A lot of the items were actually thrifted in here and especially when you check out my video that we shared last week which we did two different apartment makeovers down on the bottom story of this house and I would say almost everything down there was thrifted or found on Facebook marketplace so we did that on such a low budget and it turned out so cool. It's a new day and we are back upstairs. Gonna continue working today. A lot of things have arrived and my mom and I were able to go out. We thrifted some more. We found some more things that we were needing. First thing, I'm going to be starting on the bed frame. We did order that from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bed like the bedroom mostly set up. I got nightstands, so we're gonna get that set up. And then at some point today, like a few more things are going to be delivered. Like we got a little sitting area table stand, so that'll be good to get set up. Up until this point has been a lot of thrifting, a lot of prep work, a lot of, you know, kind of like the back end stuff. And then of course the big things like painting the kitchen, all that stuff, tiling the tub, it all is looking so, so good. So that feels so good now. Tomorrow will be the day that we really can kind of add life into this space. So we'll get everything kind of laid out today and I think tomorrow will be the fun decorating day but it's gonna be a lot of fun to just see this space really start to come together. Since this bedroom is such a small space, we really needed a very weird size rug. So we ended up finding a rug remnant, which was an eight by six size and it fit this space perfectly. And then again, because the room is so small, I opted for a bed with open sight lines to not block the windows and just continue to make it feel more big and open than it actually is. Meanwhile, Jacob was actually outside staining the wood that we're going to be using for the floating shelves. He had already gone ahead and cut and sanded the floating shelves and desk. So all he needed to do was stain it and we chose the most beautiful color that really just accents the whole space. So this is only eight feet across. We in the queen bed, there was only like a foot and a half or so for a nightstand. So we ended up just not being able to find anything on Facebook Marketplace. So we ordered these on Amazon. They were very affordable. It comes in a set of two. They are like a gray color, but I'm thinking it'll tie in with these gray chairs online at least. They look like they pulled blue a little bit. And so I'm kind of hoping for that so that we can kind of tie in some blue and a little pops of color here and there. I've been watching you from a distance as I turn out all the lights. All I want from you is to listen and remember the good times. If you think of all that we leave out, is that weird you're feeling good? I know nothing ever turns out. Alright, the nightstands are all built. It was very quick and easy. I want to spray paint the little hardware that they came with. I'll probably end up just doing them black to match the bed frame. My brother has done staining and polying the shelves. So we're gonna go ahead and install those and also the desk that will go over here. Making good progress today. Long story short, I went back into my Amazon orders and I ordered the same handles that we always use. And it turns out these handles were the same ones that we used in the other 
Airbnb apartment and they were purchased on my mom's Amazon account. My nephew was here and he was ready to like put them on, help me this morning. And he pulls them out and they're a bit longer. And not only that, but like the screw holes are spaced differently. I needed to go ahead and reorder these ones, which I did, but they won't get here until after I go back home to Arizona. So I'll probably just have my mom and brother kind of put these on and I'll have them get a picture for me so I can show you guys how it looks. When it's an actually finished kitchen, it is what it is. Silly mistakes. I feel like we are constantly pivoting in these makeovers, but in the end, it always ends up working out. We just kind of stick with it. But I wanted to mention that there are a few different separate areas in this one small little studio. So of course you have your kitchen and then you have the bedroom that we kind of divided with that entry area. And then because there's not a big area for like a full on dining room or living room, we are combining that into like a dining and sitting area. And then we're also putting in a desk in that corner space because that roof line is so low here the only option was either a desk or some storage. So we went with a floating desk and that was just held up with some L brackets. And then of course the final area in this apartment is just the bathroom, but we wanted to do everything we could to really elevate this bathroom. And one of those things is to actually put in a new mirror that's really tall. This one was from Ross for $40 and it just continues to, again, bring your eye up, kind of making that tiny bathroom feel a lot larger. It doesn't get colder than that. How's it feel? Finally, we are just moving the curtain rods up to the ceiling to again, bring your eye up. And also I took a few minutes to just clean these windows inside and out and it made a huge difference. Oh, Jacob, gosh, oh my gosh. There we go, that was the money shot. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Always looking for an opportunity. It's a new day and today could be the final day of this apartment makeover because I leave tomorrow, but we do have a few more hours. We can squeeze in some work if we need it tomorrow. Fingers crossed we won't, but we actually spent all day yesterday focusing downstairs. So that was actually in the video that was shared last week. Today we are really focusing up here and it's kind of going to come together a lot more, hopefully completely. My brother is here, so we're gonna be working together on some things, just kind of making the magic happen in this space. I'm really excited. So since the bedroom and living room is very open, it's a studio apartment. We wanted the curtains to all match. We're gonna take them all up to the ceiling to make this place feel a lot larger and taller than it is. So we ended up getting these from Walmart. They're just 84 inch, kind of like a linen color curtain, but we got several packs of these. I am going to double up on the panels here. At least that's the plan right now, just to make it look a little fuller, but we can always adjust and only use one panel on each side if that's what it's seeming. But we go ahead and stick some curtains up. All right, next up, we're going to take drawer pulls from the nightstands and actually go paint them black to match and kind of tie in with the curtain rod and the bed frame. My mom had found some thrifted lamps that we're gonna use on the side tables, but they are silver. So I'm actually gonna paint them gold because we'll have a few little gold accents throughout the space. So just to kind of make that look cohesive, we're gonna paint the base of those gold. So let them dry and continue on. The next big thing while the paint dries outside is we're gonna hang up a picture in the bedroom, there's really not gonna be a lot of decor in here, if any, other than this. It's like three by three and a half feet, so it's a really large picture. We got it from Hobby Lobby, so it was half off this week. But it'll just give a lot of color, kind of like balance out the windows on the other side. And of course, we're hanging it with command strips.
Next, my brother started putting up a corner mount TV in the bedroom while I styled the floating shelves, and I added these into this space for a few reasons. One, I wanted to add in some warmth and coziness, but also I really wanted to bring your eye up in the space. I know I've talked about this a lot in this video, but just keep in mind when you're dealing with a small space, height can be your best trick to making a small space feel a lot bigger. Show me starlight, show me what you have. Look at these cool thrift finds. These are like $2. And I like a lot of the stuff we got, but so cute. We still need to do some touch-up paint on the new tile, but the tile looks so good. The faucet was just a really old one, but because this is such an awkward area with the roof line going down, it just becomes a very awkward bathroom. And so we ended up finding this faucet. It looks like an old timey faucet. It has the coolest like handles right here. So the thing is, it's really just a tub with a shower spout. It's gonna make the whole bathroom look so much nicer than it was before. Plus, we kind of had to do this because like the way the plumbing was and with the new tile being thicker and like all that kind of stuff. So we needed to get something different anyway. And I just think that's so cool. So Jacob's gonna go ahead and install that now and then we'll continue on with everything. I'm excited to see it. piece we just painted like that yeah take two this piece we just painted then what what do i say take three take three we just painted this all right so watch closely <laughs> been a couple of hours because we had to run out and grab but the final things we're like down to the hours we're just gonna work into the night tonight and get as much done as we can tonight and then we'll come back early in the morning and finish things up we also finished up a lot of things downstairs and we're kind of in the same boat like we just have kind of like some finishing touches to do so we're gonna go ahead and get that done now this was actually just a plant stand that my mom had at her house she had a couple of them so we're just using them to kind of elevate this and give it a little bit more height. Then for the bathtub, we're just doing a tension rod to keep things nice and simple. And instead we'll do a white one that will just kind of more blend in. So since this is so short, we are going to have to hem the shower curtain, but I think that's gonna be something that my mom does after I go home because I just don't think there's any more time. So since this room is so small, the bed has to be pushed up to the wall basically. And for that reason, it's just gonna be really tricky to actually pull these curtains into the center to have privacy. But we really did wanna have the curtains there because 
it really elongates the room it makes it feel taller and more spacious it's called a cellular shade but it's really nice it's safe to sleep under because there's no cords or anything we did the same thing actually in the last apartment that we worked on Jacob is just working on like attaching it underneath the windowsill so that when they're ready for bed or they don't want the glare on the TV or whatever they can just pull it up and down with their hand it will look nice and be super functional but while he is working on all that I'm actually gonna come in the kitchen and just start kind of setting this area up since we're running low on time We also kind of last minute added in a full length mirror in the bedroom. There was not a ton of room, so we had to get kind of a smaller one, but it is still very functional. And I was so happy that we ended up finding a spot that worked. We had a crazy busy late, late, late night. We didn't get out of here till like two last night. We actually worked downstairs a lot to finish those areas up. But today we're just gonna do the last minute things, put the bedding on. My brother's in the bathroom finishing like repainting a few areas that needed some touch-ups. And we're just kind of getting everything, like the last little touches done up here and also downstairs. And then I'll head off to the airport and go back home to Arizona. So let's get this finished. So I did my best throughout this studio apartment to keep the tiny space bright and neutral and then I went ahead and added in pops of color with simple decor and things like throw blankets and pillows and the lamps and all of that stuff. Just like everything, there were a bunch of hiccups in this makeover, including things not arriving in time. And one of those things was actually a cute little bistro table. It's black, so it'll kind of pull in those black details that we added in. So it's gonna be perfect for anyone sitting here in an entertaining area, just kind of like hanging out, relaxing, or they can turn the chairs in towards each other and enjoy their meal. We kind of did this as a way to do both. It says it could get here today or it could get here tomorrow or the next day. But until then, my mom just happened to have this table at her house that she didn't need right now. So this is not <laughs> quite the design, but for a placekeeper, we're gonna set it up in here just until that other table arrives. This entire vase was thrifted. It's a real travertine vase and all the little flowers and it was thrifted too. So this just turned out so cute last night when I kind of made it up. And putting it up here will actually bring your eye up in this super short, tiny little bathroom. <laughs> So in an Airbnb, you want it to be very simple, you want it to be very functional, and you really don't want to overdo the decor. However, I have stayed in Airbnbs where there's really nothing but function, and it does kind of feel pretty cold, and so I really wanted to do my best to kind of get the best of both worlds in that space. So in the bathroom, I just styled the shelves to be very simple and pretty, but also have some added function. Let's go to Carolina. We could start a new life. Already, my best friend. 
So since we have to put some things on the counter, but there really isn't a lot of space, I want to kind of make this feel like it's there on purpose and just kind of give it its own little area. A lot of times you can do that with a tray. Since the countertop is just pretty small, we're actually using just a plastic placemat. This will be really easy to clean, but we can set up like a whole little coffee station without taking up a ton of space. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, brick by brick, now let me ooh, ooh, ooh I wanna be right there by your side I wanna be there, won't you be mine? Take down your walls and let me done with one hour to spare so let me show you how it turned out you guys do you even recognize this apartment we have completely transformed it from top to bottom so starting off in the main living area we of course painted those cabinets a beautiful white to just lighten the space and kind of update them and we added in that black hardware if you remember my brother had previously added in a new faucet and then to add some function we added in some small appliances now my mom will be adding in a few more things in the kitchen we just ran out of time and i actually really wanted to add in a peel and stick backsplash to break up the white in the kitchen but that'll be something that she can definitely add on her own and then another thing that we did to the kitchen was I just simply added in a rug and that was not only to add in a little extra comfort in there but more so to give a definition that this is the kitchen and it kind of separates it from the other areas then in the living area we incorporated some comfy chairs with a table we wanted to create a sitting and lounge space but you're also able to pull those chairs together and just enjoy a meal oh and guess what arrived the very next day after I left was that little black table that I was saying we were missing so my brother went ahead and put that together and you can see how beautiful that looks sitting right in between those two chairs. Now above that area we added in some floating shelves to add some coziness and just make the space feel a lot more inviting and then to the left of that sitting area we added in a fiddle tree on a riser and that just gave so much life and height to the space. Then we also added in the function of a custom floating desk complete with a stool, lamp, and clock so everything you need to do whatever kind of work you're needing. I feel like that'll be perfect for a business trip and then and down below we incorporated a basket which houses extra linens and a oops I forgot bin in case if you forget toothbrushes or any of those kind of toiletry items and then moving out of the main area right when you walk in the door you're met with an entryway that we created which offers shoe storage as well as a hat rack and coat hooks and because this has the rod going across this also will double as a closet and another thing that I loved about this is that it also creates that separation between the living room and the bedroom while still keeping everything open Open. Now in the bedroom you have a beautiful open bed frame and I love that it's black because it kind of adds that contrast against all of the light bright things that we have in here but still with it being an open frame it just kept things still light and airy and it lets your eye focus on the windows making that small room feel a lot larger. Of course we brought the curtains all the way up to the ceiling to again bring your eye up and kind of frame out the windows and remember that little cordless 
line that we added in for privacy, that just tucks away when it's not needed and the whole room is grounded with a beautiful rug and we added in two cute nightstands and gold bedside lamps on either side of the bed. And that gorgeous colorful picture on that big empty wall just added so much life to this bedroom. And then we finished this room off with a soft simple bedding, a corner mounted TV which again tucks away when it's not in use, and a full length mirror on the side wall which adds so much more function. All right and moving into the bathroom, oh my gosh this tiny awkward dingy space now looks so inviting. We weren't able to of course add in like a big walk-in shower or anything but we did the best with the space that we were given and now when you walk in you're welcomed with a bright oval rug and to the right you have a very beautiful refreshed bathtub with the coolest faucet ever. I love this piece so much. Then I just hung a simple but textured shower curtain. My brother had added in those beautiful floating shelves above the toilet and on those we placed a few home decor pieces but mostly functional bits since in this bathroom there really is not a lot of storage. And then to the left you have a brand new modern sink and faucet instead of that old tiny corner mount one. And you also have that little shelf table that my brother added in for counter space. And inside of those cubbies we were able to store towels rolled up among other needed items. Then we finished this off with a towel hook and that beautiful tall arch mirror and that just again continues to bring your eye up and kind of soften the space in this small little bathroom. You guys have to let me know what you think of this space. There are definitely still things my mom plans to do since I had to leave really quickly. So she's going to be adding a lot more into the kitchen and just kind of putting those final finishing touches. But the space itself is really finished and I could not be happier with this. I love it so much. I feel like it's so bright and airy. And being a 232 square foot little studio apartment, I feel like we were able to accomplish so much in the space and especially on a pretty tight budget. So let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing that we did in here and let me know also if there was anything that you would have done a little differently. Now if you have not seen the other three apartments that we did up here in Montana, I'm going to link that playlist right here so you can go ahead and get caught up. I love them all so much for different reasons but I would love to hear what your thoughts on them are. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!